Welcome to my 5 minute distribution preview of Netrunner 4 Dryland. Now I found this one on DistroWatch and I was uh, rather um, surprised I hadn't heard of it before. It's a um, basically a variation of um, Kubuntu or an improvement on Kubuntu and um, you know it's it's just really nice and very clean. Um, I'm a big fan of their logo actually. I think uh, Compass is really cool. Now it says on the website it comes with Firefox 7 but um, after updating I ended up with 10 which is cool. And uh, it also says it comes with uh, KDE 4.7.3 but after an update after the install it was uh, the la latest stable version 4.7.4. .4. And it uses a Synaptic Package Manager which um, I actually really like. It's it's a great alternative to um, you know your text-based uh, terminal package manager because you're able to you know mark all your updates and it'll give you a warning if it needs to. You know you mark this stuff, you hit apply, and boom, you've got your system up to date. It's as easy as that and no need for terminal commands. Now it comes with uh, two music players, Clementine and Amarok. It also comes with uh, a ton of software, uh, mostly two or three versions of the same type of thing, uh, both KDE and uh, um, uh, GNOME-based software. So if you uh, go ahead and uh, stop the game, you can see through some of the software that comes pre-installed. Now I would want to note that the multimedia software that I have added, like uh, Record My Desktop, TV, uh, Caden Live, those um, did not come pre-installed. I installed them later while working on this video. All right, now, um, at first I was kind of surprised to see the Kubuntu logo on here, and I decided to uh, look around and actually uh, check the website, and, and, you know, it wasn't a mistake. I actually thought it was that they didn't change it to their own logo, but they um, they do make use of the Kubuntu uh, repos. So um, if you like Debian but aren't a fan of Kubuntu, you can go and download it, either a torrent or a direct download and uh, check this out. Now, uh, one of my favorite things is the uh, <laughs> default artwork is uh, simply amazing for a um, Linux distribution. You know, usually you end up with some really ugly uh, uh, logo artwork or just, you know, um, generic uh, KDE um, designs. But, uh, you know, you could tell that they have a uh, graphic designer on, on staff uh, working on this system. Now this is uh, definitely geared towards a Windows XP or not, or Windows 7 user. Um, notice the uh, minimize and the full uh, and close uh, buttons there. Um, I can't remember if that's actually part of the default KDE experience. Uh, it, I don't think it is. So the um, goal or the impression of the goal is that they're um, showing off Linux to uh, new users. Of course I'm not a big Windows 7 fan so one of the first things I do is change the layout to look less Windows-esque and I never liked those blue shadows so you go into configure dec decorations under the window decorations pane you change that stuff out and uh, I always go for a grayish black or or some sort of like really dark theme so it creates more of a shadow rather than a glow which you can see looks pretty good. Now here's their website again if you want to find more information on it it's uh, netrunneros.com this is actually the features page where it uh, tells you more about the system. Now this is a um, live DVD install so you could either do ISO um, on a USB uh, pen drive or through DVD and um, uh, it, actually the installation experience is pretty cool uh, very easy, you know, not much unlike uh, installing Kubuntu. So uh, if you guys are looking for a Kubuntu um, alternative uh, and you want a stable KDE Debian, Debian based system, go ahead and check this one out. I think you guys will really like it. And, uh, and, and you know, the people on the website are great. Thanks for watching.